This episode of Ties I Help is brought to you by Jack Threads. What's up guys? So as you probably already know, the iOS 6 jailbreak is out. You can jailbreak your iPhone 5, your iPad mini, or pretty much every other device from iOS 6.0 to 6.1. Uh, if you want to check out my video guide, if you haven't already done it, uh, it's up on my YouTube channel, so go check that out. Uh, but a lot of you guys have been requesting I do a video showing some of the best and my favorite city of tweaks. So in this video, I figured I'd do that. Let's get started. So the first week I'm gonna show you guys is called Barrel, and what it does is it changes the animation when you scroll from page to page on your lock screen. So as you see, uh, my icons kinda look like they're on a cube right now, laid out on a cube, uh, and that's what it's called, cube outward. You can also do cube inward where it looks like it's on the inside of a cube, but there's tons and tons of different options uh, to change the animation uh, how you're when, like when you're scrolling from page to page. Uh, this one's a uh, page fade, so the icons will actually fade out. Uh, when you scroll, that one looks pretty cool. That doesn't even look like you're turning pages at all. Now, as you see right there, it is kind of glitchy and laggy. Uh, some of the, the animations work better than others. Uh, but yeah, this is just a cool little way to give you a nice refresh of uh, like when you're scrolling through icons. I don't know, I just like it. There's all kinds of different little things to pick from uh, in Barrel and tons of different options. Uh, they even got Pac-Man right here. Uh, but again, some of them do lag up your phone. But check that out. Is that not freaking like awesome? The next week I'm going to show you is called Now Now, and what it does is it replaces Siri with Google Voice Search, which if you haven't used it, it's a lot faster. It doesn't give you as much control over your phone, uh, but it's just really nice. So check this out. I am testing the new Google Voice Search with Now Now on my iPhone. This is weird. But as you see... That work okay, it still picked me up. Uh, but as you see, that works really well. And you can customize like how you want this to work uh, in these settings. If you go over to settings and you go to now now, uh, you can actually uh, customize uh, how you want uh, the home button to work. So you can actually set it to where you can double tap it, or you can do a short hold, you can do a long hold, or even a triple tap. So that is now now. The next week I'm gonna show you is called Spring to Mize 2. And basically what this lets you do is gives you tons of control and access over lots of different things. Uh, on your phone. You may have seen before that I have five icons in my dock, which normally you can only add four to it, uh, and that lets you do that, uh, as well as if you go into like something like a folder, uh, you can also change up the how many rows are in each folder, as well as how many icons are in each folder. And you're not limited to just five, you can actually set it up to about ten. Uh, let me actually go into Spring to Mize and I'll show you. Uh, so I'm going to change the settings of my dock, uh, so as you see here, you can even have it just with one icon in your dock. I'm going to go ahead and select 10 just to give you an example. Uh, and then I'll even turn on cover flow, which gives it a cool little effect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and do a folder also. i got to turn it on uh, to allow me to use a custom number. And then I'm going to say I want 10 uh, in each uh, line. So let's go back. Uh, to spring to mize, reload, and then respring, which basically sets it up uh, so you have all the settings uh, saved on your phone. So once it comes back, and there we go, let's go into the folder, and as you see, that kind of looks messed up. You probably only want to have like a max of five, uh, but as you see, here's my dock. There's a new cover flow effect. I can go ahead and drag uh, some icons down in here into my dock, and I can have up to 10 of them now. Uh, so basically, as you see, I give you tons of different control uh, and access to stuff that you normally wouldn't have on your phone. There's tons of stuff in here. I couldn't even sit here and go over all of it, uh, but it's pretty awesome. Spring to Mize 2. The next app we're going to look at is called iFile, and basically what this lets you do is browse through all the files and folders and stuff that are on your iPhone. So you can go in here and actually see everything that is on your phone. You can delete stuff. You can view your downloads on here. Uh, you can change permissions of stuff, but be very careful because you definitely can mess up your, some stuff on your phone if you deleted the wrong thing or messed with it. Uh, so be careful, but this is definitely a must-need app uh, for when you first start out jailbreaking. So you just kind of can browse through all your files and see uh, what is actually on your phone. The next week I'm going to show you is called OXO. I'm going to double tap the home button to give you a preview of it. Uh, so as you see, it changes up your app switcher. Uh, so you can actually see a full preview of the apps uh, that you have open. Now if you want to close any of these, all you have to do is swipe down. I know go ahead and close the app. It, looks, it does just the same as it does before uh, when you tap the home button, except it's a little bit nicer and it looks a little bit better. And then you can also uh, quit multiple apps at once, just use two fingers uh, and swipe 
slide down. And um, then you can also clear all these out at once. Let me go ahead and scroll back to the left. Uh, you also get more settings and a better view of your music player. So right now I've got something playing on Spotify. I can go ahead and tap to play that. I can control the volume from right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. I can tap right there to go into Spotify. I can tap right there to see the uh, album artwork of who I'm playing. Uh, so let me go ahead and close that. Then if I scroll over again, I've got access to tons of different stuff here. I can change my portrait lock. I can change my brightness right here uh, with this little bar, uh, which is really cool to have fast access to that if I can actually touch it. It's not letting me touch it right now. There we go. So I can change my brightness. I've got Wi-Fi controls, Bluetooth, 3G. And I actually, if I tap on any of these and hold down, it'll actually take me right into the settings app where it is. And then I can scroll up a little bit and I can see more stuff here. I've got airplane mode, uh, volume. I've got the flashlight app. This is a really quick, easy way to access a flashlight. Uh, so I go ahead and tap right there. As you see, my flashlight comes on. Uh, and that, yeah, that's a pretty cool little... Uh, uh, tweak. I really like this one. Gives you lots of different access uh, to all that stuff right there. Just that alone uh, makes it better. I don't even really care for the different uh, app cards. I just really like uh, that I have quick access to all this stuff and especially the flashlight. And finally, the last tweak I'm going to show you is called Zephyr. And basically what it does is gives you better multitasking and app switching. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari. Let's say I was browsing on the web and I wanted to switch to a different app. All I have to do is swipe over and it's going to switch right to it. There's my Spotify. I can switch to Google, switch to Springamize, and I can do it also this, the other way. So as you see, that is a way fast uh, app switcher than if I would have double tapped the home button, uh, scroll through these, figure out which one I want to pick, tap on it, and do that. I can actually just swipe right over and get to it. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Zephyr, it's way better multitasking. And as you see, it works pretty good uh, really quickly. It loads up the app. Uh, and definitely way better than uh, just doing it normally or just going back to your home screen uh, and then selecting the app. Jack Threads has quickly become the online shopping destination for dudes. Everything on the site is up to 80% off because only suckers pay full price. They've got so many awesome deals on all kinds of stuff on Jack Threads like apparel, accessories, iPhone cases, and just tons of stuff. I've even bought some stuff from Jack Threads myself. I actually got this sweet jacket right here that I'm wearing uh, off Jack Threads for like 10 bucks, and then I got another one just like it in black. They've also got a lot of cool bracelets too. These are Dyer bracelets. These are pretty sweet. Check these out. But yeah, there's just so much stuff on the site that guys like me and probably like you like to wear. And also, shopping on Jack Threads is just super simple. Also, as a Jack Threads member, if you refer your friend to sign up and then they buy something, you'll get $10 of store credit that you can use on Jack Threads to buy yourself something. Now, there is a wait list to join, but being a viewer of Ties I Help and my videos, you can sign up right now and get instant access at jackthreads.com slash tie. So check it out and start saving on all of these awesome deals. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of the apps or tweaks that I mentioned in this video, make sure you check the description down below. And then also, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to click the like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.